on my way to my doctor's appointment. Um, it's been a while since I gave you guys an update, but if you follow me on Facebook, then you know that one, I got laid off last week, two, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. Um, the funny thing is, is that after getting laid off, I still find myself pretty busy. <sighs> I'm going to do some genetic testing today. This is um, my day after, this is my morning after dropping off Artemis to his daycare. He only goes for three hours of the day. Um, so I drop him off now. It used to be my husband who drops him off, but we actually drop him off together now. And then my mom and I pick him up if I'm there. If I'm doing something like today, I, I probably won't be home by 12 and in time to pick him up because the appointment is at 10. And I'm already like 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes to 10. Hopefully I'll make it in time. Uh, and my appointment's two hours long because they're gonna do blood work and they're gonna do some type of ultrasound to check the back of baby's neck or some stuff. I don't know. It's a new test. It wasn't available or offered to me the last time I was pregnant, which was two years ago. It seems like something's always coming up and I, my thought behind it is if it's not covered by the insurance, then it's not necessary. So um, this one is covered by my insurance, so I'm doing it. But just like I never got like a 3D picture, whatever, ultrasound for Artemis, I'm not doing that this time because I don't feel like it's necessary. Um, so yeah, those things cost like three or $400, right? Anyways, so that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping that with this layoff, um, I'll have time to, you know, see what's out there, see what I want to do. Obviously, I don't think it's the best time to look for another job because um, I'm pregnant. Who's, I mean, I could look for temporary work, which is what I'm thinking about doing. Temporary, like, a, either receptionist work or something that I know I can do, like, pick up phones and stuff like that. That's not too stressful. That has me sitting down just temporarily until I go on maternity leave, take care of the baby, and then figure out what my next move is. Um... That's what I'm doing right now. I've got to figure it out. Um, nothing else much going on besides that. There is something really big that happened. <clears throat> but I don't want to talk about it because it's not my place to talk about it. Um, I think when that person is ready to announce whatever you know is going on in their life, then I'll probably talk about it. But... I've been pretty crushed this past week and it, it has nothing to do with you know my job or anything like that it's something that's going on in my family it just sucks I wouldn't wish it on anyone but more on that whenever I feel like I can, I can talk about it um I hope you, have, you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day I'm not celebrating it um probably just gonna stay home I am gonna go out to lunch with a friend probably after my appointment but that's pretty much all I have planned there is a barbecue this weekend for my nephew who's turning 17 can you believe that I can't believe that he's the first baby of the family and I remember when he was a little baby and I went to go see him in the hospital uh, when he was born and he's 17 he's like a little adult already it's so amazing to me I don't want to get emotional about it, but I'm really proud of him. He's become a really funny to me because he jokes around sometimes. Um, he's kind of serious now because he's in his teenage years, um, but he always calls me Thea. He used to be Thea, Olivia. Um, he likes being at my house. All the kids do. I haven't had, had them over as much as I used to have them because of the vacation and a bunch of stuff that's been happening but hopefully we can start getting the families back together again for barbecues and stuff i want to have easter at my house now that i have some free time i'm hoping that i can actually plan something um and do it 